Hi, this is Eve Star again with Eve Star Fiber Arts. I wanted to show you, I just showed you a little, a few tips about uh, dye baths, uh, dyeing in the oven. And if you want to check that out, it's part one of these videos. I want to show you, this is Bunny back here. This is Angora that I dyed. It, it's kind of like silk. It's sort of water repellent. And so it is hard to get it to all um, absorb, but that will blend in. That won't be a problem, but you can see right here, look how clear this water is. So all of the dye, all of the pigment has gone into the fiber and I could, again, I could leave it uh, where it's not completely blended, where I have a tonal effect, where there's lights and darks, warms and cools in the same yarn, or I can run it through my drum carter more and blend it more and then have it be really uniform, which I don't usually do. I like to have it look like it's handmade. So that's what I did there, and here's the bunny. This is uh, from Sweetie Bunny. So this is some pink. I left some of it undyed because I've got a very important commission for a little friend who wants a bunny, a bunny hat in white. But um, I rinse it with a little bit of my Miss, Mrs. Myers lavender, uh, but it doesn't need much. And just you know, room temperature water. Um, this isn't going to felt if you if you don't agitate it much. So. That is how clear that dye bath is. So putting it in the oven, make sure it's good and wet, then the dye can travel. A little bit of soap in there helps the dye to travel as well. And of course the vinegar in the water, the, it's the uh, acid in the vinegar that helps make it bond to the protein fiber of the real wool and the real Angora bunny. So I put it in the oven at 250. For 45 minutes to an hour, I make sure it's completely cool before I mess with it. And this is what I get. A nice clear dye bath. That means all the pigment is in the fiber where it belongs. So I'll be showing you step by step how I do this and uh, we're going to let this dry. I'm going to put on drying racks. I'm letting the little loose parts of bunny dry inside the wetting tool, that netting, so that it doesn't uh, fly everywhere because it's so fine. Then I will show you how I use my drum carter, my blending board, uh, and we'll take it from there. I always prepare my fibers to be woolen spun compared to worsted. We'll talk more about that. So we'll see you for part three. This is Eve Star, Eve Star Fiber Arts.